What's up, Steely? So I wanted to finally follow up with you guys about the cheek biting situation. A lot of you have been telling me that you just cannot stop biting your cheek. You cannot. You can't do it. You're doing it right now. Didn't I tell you to stop? That's number one. I said stop. Stop. Stop biting your cheek. Stop. Let's talk about some real ways to finally just like cut this crap out. Now we've talked about acknowledging the problem. That's always the first step to solving any problem is acknowledging the problem. So you've acknowledged, right? I'm biting my cheek. As I educated you before, this is a medical condition, right? This is a compulsive disorder to do this. It is a compulsion and it's not normal. It's not well, people bite their cheeks sometimes. No, you're not a freak or a weirdo for doing it, but you need to stop doing it because it's not healthy. So I've said over and over again, it's not healthy. You need to stop. I have gone without biting my cheeks now for going on two years now. So I know you can do it. And this is something that I've done throughout the course of my life, but at my worser moments, even when I would think, well, I'm doing fine now. There was always some residual thing going on and a reason why I wasn't doing as good as I thought that I was because I'm biting my cheeks again. Seeing how cheek biting has impacted other people, right? I would see grown men doing it. And I'm like, oh, wow. Like, oh, I thought he was a, you know, a strong guy, right? But clearly something is affecting him that he doesn't know about or doesn't want to come to terms with. And it's impacting him. Even for myself, you know, I'd be talking to people and I'd have to start biting my cheek and I, and I would feel so out of control. Like, do you really have so little control that you have to bite your cheek as you're talking to people? I would be doing a show, you know, on stage and like trying to bite my cheek on the side and trying to deal with that in the middle of a show. Again, as I, as I said in the, in the previous video, a woman that I worked with had bit her cheeks so badly that she had visible scars on her face. And I know that it's not easy for everyone to tell, but I can tell on my own face where the cheek biting became a problem physically. And that's what did it for me because I came to the understanding like I am literally destroying my face. So I don't know if, if, if that understanding can't do it for you, I don't know what will. There are people who have found studies that say the continuous destruction, the way that you break down the grinding that your teeth does throughout this is not good for your teeth. The destruction that you do to the skin, right, inside your cheek could possibly lead to cancer because of the way that like your DNA has to like continuously like rebuild inside your mouth there. Something that's not right. I mean, can you imagine a spot on your arm and you're just like gnawing at it constantly. And there's people that do that. There's people that like pull out their hair or you see I don't understand like you have to come to understanding that you are like the people, cheek biters, you are like the people who pull their hair out till they bleed or pick at scabs till they bleed. You are like those people. And you can look at those people and say, those people need help. And so do you, <laughs> right? And so do you, you need help. So if vanity alone isn't gonna do it for you, if vanity alone isn't gonna be the answer to how you can control this situation, then you need to start looking at the psychological, or the mental, the psychological, and really get to the bottom. Uh, vanity alone did it for me. I still have a lot of, I'm still dealing with a lot of the issues that made me do that in the first place. But the vanity alone, I promise you. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I mean, <laughs> that vanity. And when I realized like I'm hurting myself now. So I worked so hard in my life to get to a place in my life where people can't hurt me. And I'm sitting here hurting myself now. No, we not. No, we not. We not gonna do that. No, we not. You see what I'm saying? Get into philosophy, read some self-help books. 
something that you can do right now because I want to bring you guys something that you can do right now to help you stop. I noticed that for me with cheek biting, I, I carry a lot of tension in my jaw in general. And people carry a lot of tension in their jaws, right? So relax the jaw, relax the jaw. So a good way to relax the jaw is to take your knuckle and put it like right here, like at the jaw bone, okay? And just push, you can feel the tension that you carry here. You can feel it as you push in with your knuckle, okay? Do that on both sides of your face for 30 seconds every day. You will feel a difference in your jaw. And, and when you relax that jaw and let some of that tension go, that will help you feeling so preoccupied with this area. I really feel that because I do that a lot. Like I'll do this exercise to relax my jaw and and then I'm like, oh wow, that feels so much better after doing that on both sides for 30, 45 seconds, right? That feels so much better than just prior before when I wasn't doing that. Try doing it every day. Again, acknowledge what is going on inside of you, recognize that you are destroying yourself and try to find some help. This is a lifelong thing. It's always lifelong to better yourself. <sighs> All right, also, I just remembered this and I wanted to be sure that I added it into this video before I start editing. And that is that I've been doing a lot of research. Having the condition and reading people's comments made me want to do even more research into this and just discovering that it really is like tr tricklemania, tr tr trick daddy, um, <laughs> tricklemania, um, you know, the pulling of the hair and the picking at the skin until you hurt yourself. They have that on so many documentary shows, right? TLC Health, the Health Channel will constantly show, you know, oh my gosh, like, look, look how this person can't stop pulling their hair or look how this person can't stop picking at their skin. And then they have medicines and they have therapy and treatments for that, but this is something that I guess people do to such varying degrees that there really isn't that emphasis on how damaging this can be to one's life. I know for me personally, I felt like it was destroying my life. I'm a person who was born into a lot of trappings of society. I was born into a lot of stereotypical situations where I could have ended up like a lot of the stereotypes. And I've always been adamant for myself that I'm not going to succumb to what people, what society, what anyone thinks of me and what of what I should be doing. I'm only going to do what I want to do. And I did not want to be biting anymore something I've been doing my whole life off and on. You know, it makes people ask you questions like, what are you doing? You know, to constantly see somebody doing this. So I wanted to come back and say, remembering that this is a disorder, besides the trying to relax the jaw technique that helps me, and I hope that it will help you. Also, you need to remember that what triggers this is when you rub your tongue against your cheek and you feel that imperfection. You have to leave it alone so that it heals and that the imperfection is, lo is no longer there. That is what you have to do. That is what you have to do. If you don't do that, it's just like trying to lose weight, which is why I always have such a hard time, right? Because it's like, you have to stop eating the bad things. You have to just stop. For at least a good period of time, you have to just not do it. If you could have the discipline to just, you know, have a beer and a grilled cheese a day, I guess you might be able to lose weight, but you wouldn't have a lot of energy, vitamins, etc. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, you, you can't do it. You just can't do it. It's triggered by stress and anxiety, but the physical trigger is when you rub your tongue against your cheek and you feel that imperfection. You have to understand that. What helps me 
in, in working to not fall into stereotypes. I just think of it like as a stereotype, right? Oh, this is something that people do and I don't wanna be one of the people that does it. What helps me is understanding like, you know, this is not unique to me. I'm not some unique person doing this. Okay, everyone is doing it. And I don't wanna be a part of that club. I don't wanna, I, I heart you all. But let us all, this is the one club that we need to try to be getting out of, that we're all in, that we need to be trying to get out of. I am a survivor of cheek biting. And let me tell you something, not everybody survives this. You will see people that cheek bite and have done it so much that they have visible scars. What that does to someone mentally, that your entire face is ruined and you know it's because of you. I don't want you guys to be going through that. So I just implore you, please remember that this is triggered by anxiety, anxiety and stress that you may very well not be dealing with. But do not run your tongue against your cheek. Let me tell you something. That was the only thing that stopped me from doing this, right? From biting was that I, I just would refuse even while I was healing, right? So it was like day one, day two, day three, so that it can heal. Once it heals, right? I can do this, right? It, it feels very smooth. It does not feel like I want to necessarily bite at something, but don't get it twisted. I think that when you have this condition, you'll always have a mentality of, is there something there? Is there something there for me to, to pick at? You know what I'm saying? So don't do it. And if anyone follows this advice and it works for you, please let me know. Uh, I'm gonna keep checking in on all of my cheek biters, cheek chewers. I prefer to call it cheek biting. Cheek chew is like, dang, chew your face off. But this is serious. And I wish you all healing and I wish you all the best. We're gonna stay on top of it. I want y'all to look up this condition more and just do everything you can to really help yourself. And don't have a defeatist attitude and, and don't give up on yourself. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on the possibility of living a more normal life where this isn't intruding into and affecting your day-to-day -day life. All right, so thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.